Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Master Plan Tycoon. Um, this game was, uh, well, I was offered a key to try the early demo of this game and it looked interesting, compelling even. Um, so I figured I'd give it a go. Let's try it. Master Plan Tycoon. This is a blind play, so if I stumble uh, on the tutorial, that's that's my bad. Uh, welcome player. Let's take a look. Right mouse button, WASDA. Right click to open the build menu. We see a build forester and the sawmill. These buildings will help us make plants. Okay, uh, oh, I guess it, it's showing us where it uh, would like to place those kind of things. Forester sawmill, I, I have like almost a built-in aversion to um, kind of like game uh, nomenclature like that. It's not really nomenclature so much as like icons because I've been I've played a lot of games recently where you know building things next to other things is just worth points not to that's a in any way a criticism towards this game but I don't know I just have like a gut reaction I'm like is it is that it's that one genre where it's like uh you see the fields around or these like circles around things you place but uh, I don't think this is that kind of game I think this is um closer to a kind of a minimalist city builder which, um, well, I guess that defines that genre pretty, pretty adequately, actually. Sorry, uh, that's completely besides the point. Let's, I, I, from like my first impressions, this game can kind of gave me a Stacklands vibe, which I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually excited about because I, I could do with more Stacklands in my life. Connect the output pin of the Forester to the input pin of the Sawmill to start to transfer resources. Okay. Yep, tree go in, sawmill, plank come out, and plank go to storage. Okay, now we need stones. Let's build a quarry. Yeah, so right away, this this has a, a lot more depth than the the kind of like um, agent ad adjacent builders. I guess I, I, I kind of attribute that name to them a little bit. Uh, so we need stone. Let's build a quarry. Mm, let's not right click. I was trying to move around while I could place. It doesn't seem to be a thing I can do. And I I misclicked. That's gonna really bother someone and myself included. This must be done next to the deposits of stone. Is this the deposits of stone? What, is, what counts as a deposit? Are these trees? Okay, so we're putting the stone in the storage as well. Buildings need food to function. Let's catch some fish. Okay, fish, fisherman. Fisherman go here. Fisherman needs to be near water. Is that uh, what I'm getting? Wonder if there's a fast forward. There is a fast forward. Can I hit the, yes, there's quick buttons. All right, so we're putting fish in the storage. Too little space on the beach. Fisherman occupied the entire coast. Let's move it to free, free up some space. Just hold, oh. So you can move these very, um, that's that's actually really nice. We need to get some water so that our settlers have something to drink. Build a wall next to the water area. Uh, oh, sorry, a well, not a well, not a wall, a well. Connect the well to the storage. So I'm wondering, can, how do we easily get things out of our storage? Let's make a small supply of fish your settlers love to eat. Okay, it's pretty much done. You can't feed a settlement with fish alone. The settlers want something more refined. Let's start the production of bread by building a farm. Okay. Um, plank. Where would one build a farm? Bread. All right. I, oh, okay, you can kind of move around. I guess I could use it WSD, but the WSD seems a little bit um, sluggish. So we want to build, uh, we want to do bread. So we need a mill, and then we need an, a well, another well. I misclicking that is like one of the worst feelings. Um, mission stone, bread, brick. Okay, find, finally the bakery. All right. We'll get fresh bread. So this, uh, so we connect the crop to the crop, the meal to the wa uh, meal. Rail means rail. Mono means one, and rail means rail. 
Uh, is there something wrong? It looks like the bakery is not getting a maintenance resource and can't s start. To solve this problem, it is necessary to build another storage nearby. Okay. Um, I know this is like early for this game, but I do think that a couple of quality of life features are kind of necessary. Mostly, I find it hard to navigate while I'm also trying to build. I do think that if it's, if the bakery isn't necessarily working, I'd like to maybe have a better visual to indicate that. I was wondering if maybe it would like have little bread icons pop up or something. What is this? Looks like it's a special mission. Put in, but in order to go there, we need to prepare. Cory mission, bakery mission. Well, where is this mission you were talking about? This one? Is this the mission? Oh, I see, we need to, uh, that's the mission. Okay, so we're putting bread in this mission. Can we move the stone all the way over there? Yeah, we can. Now half of the mine stones replenish the storage and the other is sent to the mission. We don't have time to wait. Dis disconnect the link between the quarry and the storage so that all the extracted resources are sent to the mission. Our main goal now is resources for the mission, but we must not forget about the needs of the main colony. Build another quarry and connect it to the storage. Let's put it there. We must uh, prepare some bread and stone. Maybe there won't be, uh, won't be where we're going. Okay. So we're collecting stone. Stone is taking a while. Maybe we should make some, can we, can we like alt click a quarry to um, build more of them or control click? It doesn't look like it. Definitely another little quality of life that I'd like to see is maybe some shortcut keys. Let's build another quarry and then uh, we'll, we'll fast track our stone. All is ready. Now select the node with the mission and click go to mission. And now to business. Do you see the node labeled in? Uh, yes. This includes the resources that we have collected in the master zone. Build the first storage in this zone, then we can get there. So are we like inside? Uh, oh, I see, wait a minute. We need to build a storage. So are we inside as a node? Like, in, oh, we're inside the mission. This is kind of odd. So then we move stone and bread into the storage. And now we have to build a forester. Where, uh, where is that? Plank, forester, sawmill. I, I miss clicking that. If it feels bad for you, it feels ba so bad for me. So very bad. And it's, it doesn't even show me where the guide is anymore, so. Our settlers are a little chilly. They need clothes to work in more complex industries. Sheep farm and sewing workshop. I'm assuming that's in tier one. Clothes, sheep farm. Um, we need plank. That's that's why we need uh, a forester. Making making them trees and turning them trees into, into sawmill. In, into plank. Wonder if we can upgrade some of these in the in the in the future. Okay, so now we need a sewing workshop, but I'm still waiting on some of that their plank and resources. I'm wondering if we could get another forester. Just to fast forward some of this. These require two planks, so um, they do cut into our resources to build, but then we're gonna have more trees, more input on the sawmill. These are the, this is the kind of game where you're gonna you're all, almost gonna go, want to make a spreadsheet of like how long how much like tree does the sawmill need? It needs six tree, right? So that means um, that means if we had two foresters inputting, then it's gonna input a plank every three I don't know things. I never I'm never clear on that. Uh, automation games I like them a lot. I'm never big brain enough to. Um, have them figured out, like, to, to, to kind of galaxy brain the whole thing. But we should have enough for, for the sewing machine, or sewing work workshop, and indeed we do. I think the good news is, on this, on the sawmill, is that, um, this tree storage isn't filling up, so it's, 
exactly making like perfect use of our input and outputting. So we could probably even do like another forest. And I know this isn't really part of the tutorial, but I think it's a good idea in these kind of games to experiment to see, um, you know, what what is an optimal layout. And this is like actually cutting away at the tree, so you're probably going to want to uh, change this up a little bit in the future. But if we look at it now, it, now we can see that the trees are starting to accumulate. So we've this three foresters it seems to be maybe the optimal route, optimal amount. Maybe we can make another sawmill and then maybe it's like a 1.5 or 2.5 foresters per sawmill kind of thing. But in any case, we have our sewing workshop and then we have clothes and we'll put that in our... Oh, we can't do that. Seems that the seamstresses also want to eat. Build fishermen and well. Choose a place yourself. Remember that it should be near the coast. Okay, fishermen uh, near the coast. And a well. Fish, fish go in here, water go in here. Let's stock up a little clothes. Okay, so now we, we have the, the ability. Hmm. But uh, what is happening? Now, now things are happening? Is it working now? Okay, so this is functioning now, but how come we can't connect the clothes to the storage? Do we need to have a different storage? Okay, we, it was just angled badly, I think, is, is uh, what was going on there. Um, I noticed this tree thing here is not, maybe not doing it anymore. Hmm. There's interest. <clears throat> sorry, there's interesting things happening with these forests. I don't know if they are fully working or not. I see, okay, so our tree storage here is full. Why is the plank not outputting? Mm, is it because that we're full on plank? We are full on plank, okay. I heard that the miners refuse to work without beer. Build the brewery and everything you need for it. So we need it. We're, we're building a miner. Um, so we need to we need to start working on brewery now. So we need a farm. Um, can I move this out a little bit? Just barely. I think I'm gonna need a, a new storage pretty soon. So we have a farm, and we're gonna need another well. Did I actually? I did do the well. I don't know if I do need another well, if I'm being honest. Um, so we, we're working on the brewery, so that needs to be built. So this is like a, almost like a bare bones automation game. Um, and it doesn't, uh, it, it's not so big on like the terminology. I mean, there's a little bit of terminology, but it basically is just like one, one red plus one blue makes one purple, you know, like it, there's not much to consider. So how come that well is not working? Do I have to put that somewhere else? Maybe we're just full, maybe, okay, maybe it's just like, we need, it needs an output. Water. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on there. I thought if we placed it near water, near, near the water, it would work, but it doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Where, what, what is going on with water? It's, everything seems to be deadlocked almost. I've done something horribly awry. I'm sure, I'm sure that uh, maybe a dev is watching and like, oh God, oh, it's spoiled. Spoiled it. You've spoiled it. Brick. Do we need a brick factory? I don't think we do. Can we move this over here? Not yet. I do think we're gonna need a new storage, so let's get a new storage. It might be that we are have too much, like, water going on already. I wish it would tell me what was what's wrong. 
It's not producing water for a specific reason, and I'm not sure what that is. Can we do any to water? Maybe that'll work. That seems to be working. We're producing beer in any case. Oh, and we need brick. Okay. Okay, so let's maybe start working on brick. So we need a clay pit. I'm assuming this needs to be near this, what looks to be clay material. And then we need a brick factory. I'm assuming the brick factory is going to need, they're gonna want something, right? They need bread, beer, and clothes. There is clay in the zone, which means we can set up the production. We've already got it set up. Oh, why didn't that work? Can we just put the clay in the storage and then the storage in the clay? We have bricks, no, new material built, uh, new building material, but now you need to deliver it to the master zone. To do this, connect the brick factory to the out mode. Now to return to the main zone. All right, so that was a lot of stuff to do to get the brick, but it seems to be working. I don't, I'm not sure what the deal was with this uh, this well here. I don't, I don't know how, why that didn't work. I feel like our, our storage is like full on basically everything except for tree. We don't really have any tree. So we could um, just out of, you know, out of curiosity uh, to, to innovate a little bit here, we could move our, you know, tree over there. Cause then it's, uh, we're gonna get trees and then also these guys are outputting. Just just curious to see what it, what is capable. Um, it might be also that it's what we do want to do is actually not input those there at all. We're gonna back this up a little bit. No, we're not apparently. Okay, so what we're gonna do? I'm just just curious to see uh, how this game works, and I gotta say I, I'm very impressed with this so far. Um, is we're gonna put the tree into the storage, right? And then we're gonna put the the, the, the storage into the sawmill. The, sta the sawmill can really be anywhere. So it could go, we could put it like here. Um, oh wait, that, that, that doesn't work. We wanna put this here. Hmm. That, hmm. <laughs> Hold on a second. There. And then we can put this plank over on this other storage. So that kind of works. So then we could put these other forests over here and then have them inputting to that storage and then this storage. So what's, what's going on with this sawmill? How come it's not happy? I think me, no, what? Hmm. This has clearly got trees, so I'm not sure why the sawmill is refusing to make planks. Wool, stone, bread. I'm a little bit curious about uh, the, how some of this stuff functions. I know that uh, you can pull from the storage because I'm pulling from the storage over here. Hmm. Well, I guess the, the sawmill is already full. And I guess we're full on planks, so that's why the plank isn't outputting, but usually it, it's red when it's not uh, outputting anymore. But anyway, we've we've solved the problem, so let's back out and go to our master zone. So now that we're creating brick, um, so this, this mission here is kind of like, I don't know if uh, this is a adequate kind of um, metaphor or like comparison but it kind of feels like the the computer chips from like a little big planet where you could like make them big and then you can fit in a lot of logic into a very small space and that's what these are i really appreciate that kind of mechanic i haven't seen it seen it used in a lot of games so this is this is really cool um we got bricks but there is no production of beer and clothes in the mass area 
but we can't deliver them from the mission, so you'll have to build them here. Do you remember how to do it? Yeah, I was, I'm just wondering, wouldn't it be easier to make have another zone to do it in? And then we can output from that, but I mean, whatever. So we'll, we'll make clothes. So we need a sheep farm. We'll do it here. And sewing workshop. And why, well, because they're going to tell me to do it soon anyway, we'll, we'll get working on the clay pit. I'll move this over a little bit so we can uh, get that started. And uh, we're probably also going to need to make a uh, beer, right? So let's, let's work on that. Um, we already have the farm, so I'm wondering, uh, and that seems to be already, oh, that's, that's inputting to the mission. The mission does need bread, but we might not need to fully stock it with bread. We can also outsource to one of our storages. Um, then we're, let's have our clothes moving to the storage, and then let's work on, um, the brick so we need the brick factory. The brick factory, they're gonna want beer, right? So why don't we have our farm over there also outputting to um, a brewery? So we can do this. Uh, I don't know if this is actually gonna be, is, is gonna work, does it? it the, 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 you know, the game is very unhappy about crossing the streams. Which, you know, I understand. I get it. Um, and it's an interesting limitation to work within. Um, can we do this? There we go. Do we have... We can put water in there. And then we can have our beer. Where is our beer going to go? How are we going to get our beer to our storage over there? Can we do this? We can do that. Okay, cool. Alright, so we got beer coming in. We'll move our clay to our clay over there. We'll move this, uh, we can't really move that too much. Um, can we move this like, uh, like this? No, not really. Can we go like this? No. Hmm. Let's move this a little bit. It's really unhappy about certain things. Oh, you can't have the, the line cross water. Hmm, that's a problem. Okay. In fact, you can't have it crossing any resources. Could I uh, do this? Yes, that just barely works. Okay, cool. So now we have brick coming into the storage. Uh, we got bricks, but there is no production of beer and clothes in the master area, but we can't deliver them from the mission. Right. Well, I thought I was making beer. Is the beer not coming in very quickly? I think it is, but it maybe needs more fish. Do, are we, how are we doing for fish? We're doing fine for fish. So I, feel, I, feel, I think it's just being a little persnickety. We might as well also collect trees. Now that we have everything we need, we can start making sausages. <laughs> now, we, now we get to making the sausage. Build the next building, but don't forget to balance the production of other chains. Farm, pig farm, butchery. Um, is this tier two? Sausages. Farm, pig farm. Okay. Um... Let's, like, start anew. I don't want to really have to tackle those other sections too much. So let's, let's do another... Let's do a new farm over here and a, uh, a well. Pretty sure the well doesn't have to necessarily be near water. It's just a, it creates its own resource. Okay, so crop, water, and then that's going to create pigs. And then we're going to create a butchery. So what does this want? It wants bread, clothes, and beer. I'm pretty sure we have, or we're getting enough of those that we don't need to necessarily build more of those other things. Let me see, tier one, we have clothes, some bread, some beer. Maybe we could do with more, um, more, uh, I don't know, bread? Meal plus water equals bread. So maybe we could do with um, another bakery. I'm thinking uh, what we should do, because it seems like our bottleneck here is the is the bakery is not making. I wonder why. Is it is it we don't have enough fish and water? 
we should have enough fish and water. Let me check in on our storage. Crop, meal, bread, beer. Uh, fish and water. We have tons of fish and water. Um, so, what is happening? This, this information here is not enough. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now that this like maintenance and then fish and water this this does not tell me enough about like is this working? Um, I need I need more information on that. But this uh, this recipes it looks like it's not working and I'm not sure why. And it isn't because the mission is full. In fact, it looks like it's empty. I think maybe I'm shortchanging my uh, my bread. This is, this bakery seems to be not outputting at all. And I'm not sure why certain things want to work and then other things don't. Um, it seems to me this mill is not working either because we don't have enough fish and water. So why don't we work on that? Um, I'm gonna basically have a, a fisherman thing happening over here. They, they want water. I do really wish I, I could just like control click and then create a bunch of fishermen. I don't like have to that I have to keep bailing into this extra menu over here. So we're gonna have a bunch of fish. Um, and then we'll have another storage here. So what do these guys need? They need water, and they're getting water because they're close to the water. So let's just move all of these fish to the storage. And then um, that should do us. That might actually fix a, a few things. Uh, seems like maybe the bakery is not one of them. <laughs> um, how's this crop doing? The recipes for making crop seems to be working. This maintenance is okay. I think I think that's the information I'm supposed to derive from that. Um, this mill is not okay, and I'm not sure why, and I'm not sure how to fix it. Is it? It's got enough crop. It's made. Oh, I see. It's made too many meal. This bakery is got all of the stuff, and it's not getting the maintenance so it might be that the bakery needs to be within oh that's why the bakery is not within range okay so we need to move this bakery within this zone and now it's functioning properly okay so the the location of these storages um actually matter i'm wondering can we like daisy chain storages this is like not part of the game necessarily at all but i'm curious I, I, this game's got, really got me kind of like thinking outside the box, and I appreciate that. Okay, so no, you can't daisy chain storages. You have to work within the limitation of that storage. We may as well demolish all of this stuff, because it's, you know, all of that is not going to be very helpful to us. Um, okay, so I kind of want to make another mill. Because we're not, are we, I don't know if we're making enough meal and bread. Maybe we are, but I don't know. We're at least making bread now, so we can, I can put, connect this back up again. I'm not sure if this is, this mission is satisfied with the amount of bread that I'm giving it. I can just like maybe keep an eye on it. I think that if you're going to make a game about automation, you really need to be super specific about the information. I don't just want to see like outputting bread and how much bread I have. I want to see like bread per minute. That's like the the really important information there. It's like we're we're making, you know, bread per second. How much bread per second? And then like how much bread per second does something need? Um, because then that cuts out a lot of guesswork from the player because they're going to do it They're gonna do the guesswork of like this thing requires like 0 0.3 bread per second So that means you need to make like three bread makers and connect them all in order to Maximize the out op like optimize the input of that thing um, With all of that said, I think we're pretty much good except for the fact that this farm is not actually near any 
it's near a storage it's just not near a good storage that has um, the stuff we need so I'm gonna move it over here instead this pig farm also needs basic things like clothing and and stuff like that so it is I think it is within the, the correct zone um, the maintenance is fine but it needs crop three crop one water um, not sure is this outputting any crop doesn't seem to be is it because this thing needs to it's planting and gathering okay so it needs to uh, I see the farm is not like it's not just outputting it has to actually create the farm before it can start harvesting the farm interesting okay that's kind of cool so once this is done we do have the proper maintenance here that we have bread clothes and beer everything is good in that regard um, so what we can do is output to pig this will start outputting crop soon enough it's going to take a bit to get the ball going there and then we can start outputting sausages um, but we need to move this a little bit in order to plug this in um, where I put this is going to be very interesting that actually kind of works nope not really actually hold on a second maybe we can I can oh no I almost thought I had it there Mm. There's a way to do this. <laughs> I can do this. I know I can. I know I had this brick. This brick factory was just basically perfect. I wish I could get rid of this uh, farmland. I'm, I'm assuming this clay pit is no longer going to function because it needs to be near this clay. Um, hmm. How you move things around is really interesting in this game. Can we move that there? Can we back this up a bit? Oh god, it's just like really unideal right now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect that, and then we're gonna. We're gonna have to play around with this, the, you know, with, with with things for a second here. I, I will say this is a little bit finicky. <laughs> um, we should be able to do that. Is this this needs fish and water. Right now it is not near fish or water, so it's not producing wool. So can we put this like here? Is it okay? It's getting what it needs now. This is tricky. This is actually really tricky. Why is this farm still not producing crop? It's near farm and it's near, it's it's got the crop. Why is it not outputting? Is it because the pig farm doesn't yet, is, it's not yet making anything? And why not? Also, I, I, I can't seem to move it now. Okay, now I can. Crop three, water one. Why is the pig farm not functioning? It doesn't seem to be getting water. Why not? What do you, oh, you're not near water. Oh, it turns out the well does need to be near water. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, you're finally making crop. This game um, is has a surprising amount of depth. I really did not see it coming. Um, okay, so we still need to fix this clay pit business. I don't really know if I can. Um, oh, that kind of works. <gasps> oh, that, that does work. That's perfect. Amazing. Okay, we're making brick now. Although, we are, we were already making brick. So maybe I didn't need any of this. How come we're not... We're getting clay. This, why is this one not functioning? Half this game so far is like, why is this thing not working? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have bread and beer and clothes. But we're making sausages, so that's the important part, honestly. I, you know, we, we're all already making brick, so I honestly don't think I need to worry about those things. So we're making, we're making uh, sausages, and that's getting outputted. Why is this not making 
brick anymore. I feel like I have... Okay, it is making brick. All right, good. Um, how many? How much brick do we have here? Uh, we don't. Wait, wait, wait. Where is? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Um, I feel like I could just like almost, you know, fix this so that it has like everything maybe, like wool and I don't know. It seems. I think it's got enough stuff. I don't know. We are approaching the production of steel beams, but steel workers are not simple guys. They won't be wearing regular clothes. We need to make a few suits for them and only then will they consider our job offer. Let's start with cotton fabric. Um, all right. So where would one even start to build some? Is this a tier two thing? Suits. I'm assuming all of these uh, new things are gonna want stuff. They need bread, beer, and clothes. So we're gonna wanna put them near the first storage. Um, I don't know if I need that this many quarries. Could be wrong, but. Uh, where you put stuff in this game is, is like very interesting. Okay, so let's, we, we're gonna need another sheep farm. We're gonna need, well, maybe we don't need another sheep farm because we already have a sheep farm, right? We have one here, so we could have it to have it output to something else. The cotton plantation, that's the interesting part. Do we actually, we, we don't have one of those yet, right? So this guy is going to need what exactly? Bread, beer, and clothes. It's already getting those things. So really all I have to do is make sure that our bread, beer, and clothes are not decreasing. And I don't, I think, I think we are good on that regard. Maybe the clothes are not so good. No, no, we're, we're okay. I think we're all right. Um, I'll have to keep an eye on that in the future. Okay, so cotton mill um, is the next part. Um, and that's going to need maintenance as well. We have a bit more like um, flexibility with the cotton, like the farms. Okay, so we input the cotton to the cotton. That cotton is pre. Oh no, that wasn't. It's not that it's fast. It's that I it already had some. Um, so now we want the sheep farm. Just wondering if we could like already use the the sheep farm we've already got, but I don't think that that's a good idea. Let's just make another sheep farm. Its maintenance is fish and water. Uh, maybe at a certain point we're going to want to input some more fish and water. Um, what we could do is just like do a little bit of maintenance here, create another fisherman. What, how come that well is so far away? Is that like trying to teach us how far we can we can have that stuff move? This guy needs water, right? Yeah. It might be that we don't need it to be near water. We just need it to be near the storage. But I'm pretty sure it needs to be near the coastline, right? Okay, that works. This guy near forest, it doesn't look like it anymore. So we're gonna have to move that so that it's actually getting forest again. I'm just trying to do a little bit of maintenance here. Just a little bit, I don't wanna, I don't want, not too much. Um, okay, so sheep farm, um, suits, felt workshop. This is gonna need bread, beer, clothes. We're probably gonna need to do more for, uh, you know, bread and stuff. Okay, so this is outputting to the felt workshop. Um, bleat, <laughs> bleat. Those are those are sheep right there. Um, and so now we need felt, but these only for the fur dealer. So okay, are right, but are you producing? You, they don't really have enough maintenance, not yet. Or maybe they do. Oh yeah, they're full on felt. That's it. Okay, so you're good for a little while. Um, you're good, you're good. We're all kind of good here, but I don't have enough 
um, room. To, there, there we go. Cotton fabric. So that's working out well. Didn't mean to do that. Um, so where in the world are we gonna put the, the suits? Can we, like, no, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. I'm wondering, hmm, could we like move these guys, this, this guy? Kinda? Oh man, that would be amazing. Could I move this here? Amazing. All right, so we could possibly, oh, oh, oh it's almost, it's almost perfect. Come on, yes, thread the needle. Amazing, I can't believe I managed to thread the needle on that. All right, so we made, we're making suits. I wonder when this next mission opens up down here. I, I gotta say, I'm, I, I am very impressed by this game. There's a, there's maybe a few quality of life features I'd like to see added and maybe a bit more like transparent information on like how things work, just so it, stops the player from doing that kind of like grunt work math um but outside of that i think that this this is really cool um yeah crop meal maybe we could get some more meals going i don't know um like what our meal status is looking like looks like we have no meals here so i might want to output i don't know how much how we're doing for crops. It looks like the crops is like maybe a bottleneck for the pig farm. So I don't necessarily want to shortchange the crops to the pig farm. We need three crops for every one pig. So I think we're probably gonna need another crop if we wanna get meals going. We've done a great job, but the production of steel beams is not an easy task and you need to get Take a rest before that. In the meantime, we are finishing up your future steelworks. You can visit our Steam page. Oh, is that it? Thank you for spending time with us. Well, that's actually, I am really pressed, impressed. I think something that I'd like to maybe see in the in the finished product or you know whatever um, the full game looks like is a way to kind of compartmentalize some of these factories. And I, I mean, they are kind of factories, right? Like I wouldn't mind seeing a way to kind of, you know, make our own mission and like input and output kind of stuff like that. Um, but I, I'm very curious to see where this goes, like how does this develop? Um, and outside of that, I honestly, you know, like this is this is close, very close to what I would consider to be like very um, complete in terms of like a, a, an experience. This is almost like on par with shapes for like my ideal kind of, um, automation experience it's minimalist and it doesn't make you kind of spend a lot of time placing stuff instead it's very like to the point um you know input and output and um though it is like just little like little note uh sticky notes and um kind of lines to indicate input output i still actually really appreciate the aesthetic of this and the the, the kind of um I, I want to say like the way it conveys or communicates its information is is I uh, I really like it. It's it's really appealing to me, and um, I'm I'm interested in trying more of this. I'd I'd be definitely interested in trying the full version when when and if it comes out. Well, I say if, but you know when it comes out. But anyway, um, thank you very much for joining me. This has been uh, was it Master Plan Master Plan Tycoon. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you like enjoyed the video, maybe hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And uh, take it easy.